Nigerian-born multi-instrumentalist, singer, and performer Jay Mera continues to make his mark in the gospel music circle in Ghana, where he is based. During a recent trip to Lagos, Entertainment News caught up with the popular drummer and music director to talk about the art and practice of drumming in contemporary music production. Drumming started in a dream back in 1994, and since he picked up the sticks for real in 1995, there has been no turning back for Jay Mera, who has now worked with top international acts including Micah Stampley, Fred Hammond, and Mali Music. Drumming, he says, is an intellectually engaging activity that allows him think and be in the moment. I love when things are engaging. Whether it's art, craft, music, whatever it is. But drums, I love the fact that I can think in the process. Like, it's not like everything is preset, laid out, you know, just come and sit down and, no, no, I have the freedom to actually think. And for people who know me, when I can think through something, I actually enjoy it. When I have to think about the next step, wow, it's fun. So. I guess that's what makes drums really what it is for me. It's, it's engaging. It's very engaging. Soul, spirit, body, skin, mind, eyes, ears. Everything is working at the same time, you know. So I just want to be like, okay, what, what's the next step? Okay, okay. So in going to the next step, this is what I want to do. So let's do it. Uh-huh. It's, it's fun like that for me. I don't know about other people, but for me, I like the fact that drums is engaging. And I just want to be like, like that. Beyond hitting the drums, Jay Mera is also prolific in sound engineering, which has presented him with rare opportunities. For those of you who don't know what drum tech is, drum tech is actually your own last ability or chance you may get to actually put a set together from scratch to finish. Okay, like heads, shells, everything, cymbals, stands, and all that. You know, put it together, make sure it sounds great. Yeah, that's basically drum tech and so I got the chance to actually drum tech for Fred Hammond that's with Calvin Rogers uh, Calvin is one of my mentors so I mean it's, it's also cool for uh, for me to mention that he actually was right like right behind me when I was playing my own set before he came on stage and he's like dude you're killing and he's been like a big brother to me I really appreciate it but when it comes to Micah wow scary stuff out there <laughs> very scary i mean michael stanley is one artist who basically knows he knows his music like the back of his hand michael knows when something is missing michael knows when you miss a chop michael knows when a note is wrong he's that detailed and you see that's the thing that makes him the person he is so when i think about music and i think about michael stanley it's it shuts me down, it basically humbles me to actually realize that this guy plays with some of the best drummers on earth. With knowledge gained, he seeks to improve the quality of music production and live performance locally. He stresses the importance of drumming to both. Like, let me start by quoting something from somebody, from a movie, Drumline 1. Um, the band leader walks up to the freshers and he says, we are the heart and the soul and he goes on and on say without the percussion section the band does not move and it does not come alive and then he goes as far as touching somebody's paws just to see and and the guy is racing because he's afraid and he says we are the paws and without a pulse we all know where you're dead that's drums so everybody wants to move and groove not to a bass line. I mean, bass is great, keys are great, guitars are great, but yo, if you don't have something beating in the background, you're just wasting your time, man. We are the heart and the soul, amen? That's what it is. That's basically it. So I, I, I think that drums is so, so like, let me not say it's so important. It is the music. His success is largely a result of his style of drumming, which he says takes diligence to build. Mera says it is possible for instrumentalists to create a unique identity just as singers do. 
Okay, let me use my fellow Nigerian drummers. Some of them are like my best friends, or like my brothers. So I'm going to use them as instances. Um, a lot of people know him as Bishop. I call him Sunday. He's a drummer for Bucci. Now, Bucci is a reggae artist. Not because he cannot do anything else. Not Bucci is a, is a global artist. But you see, he sticks with the reggae sound. And Bishop is the one guy I know that can deliver that sound from the set. You think about the drums. All you see, all you hear is Bishop. Now we talk about P Square's music. Another friend of mine. All you think, all you see is Papi J. But when it comes to the rest of the musicians, nobody really has a sound. I mean, people are building the sounds and it's working. But I'm talking about building and consistency. You see? So that's, 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 where it sound, uh, that's what it is like. You have a drummer who identifies and can relate with your sound and can deliver that sound. I'm, I'm just using my Nigerian guys. I, I don't want to take it out there just yet because we see how people out there like Dave Wacko, Tony Royster Jr., Dennis Chambers. These guys are legends. But you see, at the end of the day, Jay-Z is not going to call, um, um, he's not going to call, uh, what's his name? He's not going to call Joey Oscar and say, yo, Joey, come hit this gig for me. He's going to call Tony Royster because Tony Royster is the guy for the job. Right? Or like in this case. Michael Stampley is not going to call Papi J and say, yo, come hit this gig for me. He'll probably call me because I do the job and I do it to the best of my ability. See, we build our styles and it becomes us so we can identify or other people can identify us by our sound. As African industries grow and attract more international audience, Mara says it is high time all artists build their bands in order to meet high expectations. I think that the ideal thing, if you say you're an artist, you should be able to have a band that you can always refer to. Now, why do you need a band? When I'm, when I'm working in the studio, I work with my guys. They're always around me because I need to be able to say, yo, Fee, you know what? Come play this guitar for me because you know how it sounds. This is the music, but you know what to do with the guitars. I need your input. I should be able to tell Sammy, Sammy, sit back on the drums. I'm not playing drums today. Sit back on the set and play this groove for me because I put the music in front of you. But I need everybody's input so that we can have a sound that cuts through everybody else. Because if Sammy comes and Fee comes and I say, Yo, Obed, come play the keys for me because you're way better than I am on the keys. And you know exactly how structures work. Obed is going to come play those keys because he can cut through to the larger crowd musically. I may be limited because I do not really know so much on the keys. I may not play the entire line of keys on the keyboard, but he does. So it's always safer to have everybody come through and work together because if you can work together with everybody, you can actually spread the sound out. You can get to know how somebody else might think. But unfortunately, this is not the situation because most people don't just see the necessity of even having a team in the first place. Yeah. And they want to be like the big guys. want to be like Adele. want to be like Snoop Dogg. And all these guys have bands. And every member of the band is always present in the studio, always putting stuff down together. You see? Now that's the difference. And I keep saying that if you think you want to be great as a musician, you're going to have to learn how to work together with people. You're going to have to learn how to put away that attitude, bring the band together, get, get a studio for God's sake, work together. Everybody think. I need you to think like this. I need you to think like that. I need you to think like this. Everybody think. Let's put it together. And then we can all grow together. We can all go global together. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.